Sound check, sound check, sound check. All right, so the streaming software says I'm live. And with that, welcome to part three of Pokemon Yellow. Okay, where to start? Hi, Straw Hat Mudkip, you are very early. Thank you. So this stream was supposedly on Saturday, last Saturday. But, you know, life. And I just had a time now, so we're going we're gonna to do that now. Hi, Muffin. You are you guys are early. Thank you for being here. You know, if I'm being very honest, I kind of expected that not a lot of people will uh, were were gonna be here simply because I'm doing it on a weekday, weekday night, nonetheless. So <laughs> I'm glad that people are still here and my regulars, nonetheless. Um, I believe the last time we are, we have cleared the SSN quest. So right now, I'm going off ship as it um, officially set sail on its worldwide cruise. The next order of business would be the Vermilion Gym. We now have Cut with Mew. And I think we're gonna go through Diglett's cave for some last minute training before we do that actually. Barflies? What do you mean barflies? Oh and um you guys uh for those of you who don't know I actually decided to go full time with content creating and Recently, I have experimented with a tool called Adobe Premiere Pro. That's what I'm going to be using to edit my videos from now on. And I was trying to launch a series where I discuss specific Pokemon, like Pokemon 101, 101 videos, where I talk about them in detail, including how to use them optimally in competitive battles. I started with our Chalodon and people seem to love it so i'm working on my second one which is called fluttermane 101 we are your barfly since you said we are regulars oh yes that's correct i'm sorry i'm not good with slang <laughs> but yes you are my barflies i guess anywho um who's purple guy again oh right on okay Rhydon is gonna need some last minute training because everyone should be at least level 20 before we challenge the gem. We healed, right? Cure the fly so sounds better. Actually, it does. Yes, I agree. You are my cutie flies. Let's check our items real quick. Um, we're kind of running low on potions. Oh yeah, actually it's a good idea to buy potions as well as box the important items just so I want to make sure we save them for Victory Road. So, let's gonna, we're gonna do that. Super Potion, let's buy 20. That should be enough. Spent us... Two thirds of our money with potions, and it's totally worth it. <coughs> so, what have you, what have you guys been up to? How's your week going? There's my cough again. Um, ESN's PC. I would like to deposit the important items, namely, I won't be needing the SS ticket anymore. Um, what is TM44? I forgot. Max Ether, that sounds, uh, that sounds like a victory road item. HMO1 is cut. We already have cut, so we're gonna store that. Alright. What is TM44 again? I forgot. <coughs> Rest. Okay, we, we can box that as well. Oh, and we have a rare rare candy. How do you read that? Nike? Nike? Just updated and and that's about it for me. Did you use cut? I am about to use cut. 
later. Hi. Oh yeah. Uh, did I did I teach muffin? Yes, I did. I taught muffin cut last time. Oh my god, the dogs. We have five dogs and they're not happy with new visitors, new scents. Just like every other dog, I guess. Was I able to box? Uh -huh. I wasn't paying attention. I was supposed to box the TM as well as the rare candy. Now, if that if the strangers would just get out, the dogs would shut up. Ether. Do I want to save Ether for Victoria Road? Yes, I do. I think Ethers are something you can't buy. You just find them. So uh, it's a Victoria Road item, definitely. Why? Why? So off we go to Victor uh, Victory Road. Off we go to Diglett's Cave. That's not the way. For some last minute training. We do hope to get everyone on level 20 at least. Have I caught a Diglett? I'm not sure. I don't think I have. Oh, I haven't. Okay. I know Doug Trio are also available here. Oh, I didn't give a nickname. I'll catch another one and give it a nickname. Okay. I am unable to focus because the dogs are so noisy because there's a stranger at the door. I wish they would just leave, honestly. Call it Molly. Oh, that's cute. Yes, this shall be a Molly. He looks like a Molly, doesn't he? Encounter a Doug Trio. I know they're rare, of course, but I just want to catch one for Pokedex. Mm -hmm. Let's try Tail Whip. Then stomp. Ah, Jesus. We just nullified our tail whip. Good. I know it has growl, so I won't tail whip anymore. I'll just go straight for the kill. After two hits, maybe, or three. Hush! Shh! If you catch a dog trio called Trimo- That's cute. Yes, I will. 
If we find one... Mmm, come on. This speed, no. Okay. So, last week I was talking about how the level scaling in this game is crazy. Like, it's ridiculously high. Levels are ridiculous, ridiculously high. I think even Lieutenant Surge is... Like, the Raichu? It's, oh, it's also overleveled. So we would need this uh, last-minute training. It doesn't help that the battles here are limited. Like the in-game battles. So you really have to knock out all the wild Pokemon you see. Or else you're gonna have to grind later on. So that's just what we're doing to ensure that we don't get left behind. <clears throat> or rather, that we're able to uh, keep up with the level scaling. What's in here again? A fairy, Mr. Mime. I don't think I. I s have we captured a Clefairy? I don't think we've encountered one actually. Flash. Caught 10 kinds of Pokemon are supposed to give you an HM05. Oh, is that Flash? Yeah. Oh, yes, we did. I don't remember. <laughs> nah, I'm not about to. <laughs> Mr. Mime isn't good anyway. We already have Mew. Um, Mew is the only one who was able to learn Flash. Well, Mega Punch, Transform, Crown, Cut. Maybe we can forget Pound? Yeah, let's forget Pound. We have Cut and Mega Punch. Alright. Then we can box the HM. HP up. Alright. Who among the Pokemon needs HP up? 71, need 1, 61. I believe this is Gengar. Alright, HP up for you. Moonstone. Speaking of Clefairy, this would have been useful. But I'm not going to. I'd rather use it on the Nidos. One of the Nidos. Which I don't have. So, in this generation, you can't just talk to the tree to cut it. You have to manually select it. Manually select your cutter. Let's just save. Real quick. This is our last chance to encounter the trio. Because we, we're not going to be back here, probably. Hmm, 
71. Stump. Oh my god, it has to dig. Um, let's switch in Luke. Bubble beam. <clears throat> Off we go to Lieutenant Surge. We still we can still get some more training with the gym trainers there, but that's it. We're gonna face them as we are after those trainer battles. I'll save the Pokemon Center for later after we defeat the, the gym trainers. How many gym trainers are there? We have one, two, three? Three. Okay. That's fine. Good luck. Thank you. But we're gonna do well. You know, for the most part, I anticipate that we're gonna be under-leveled for the important battles. However, like I've said before, these Pokemon are units on their own, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. They have the strength and the stats to compensate for the low level. See? I defeated a Sailor. Why was a Sailor using Magnemite? I know this is risky, but Lapras just needs some more training. We want to get everyone to level 20. But the, what are they using? Voltorb? I don't think Voltorb has any electric attacks at this level. Let's use Water Gun. Everybody is at level 20 except for Lapras. I wouldn't want to create much of a level difference, but this isn't looking good. Lapras isn't strong enough, I guess. I guess we'll just have to train Lapras later. Oh, in Rock Tunnel, Lapras would be good. There's a lot of rock types there and ground types. Lapras would have a chance. And actually, the last two gym... Lapras would just eat that. <laughs> no problem. Okay, it's a good thing we stocked up on potions. Because the Voltorbs are definitely faster than us. And these Sonic Booms are starting to add up. We should be able to survive one more Sonic Boom. It's fixed 20 damage. There you are. Okay. Let's use Super Potion and defeat the last guy. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Search was my strict CO. A CO? Colonel? Commander? Commanding Officer? Okay, this Voltorb is even stronger than the last one, so we know that Lapras isn't gonna do much. Let's bring out Rhydon. Self-destruct! Oh my god, we switched in the right Pokemon. Purple guy grew to level 21. 
Magnemite. We're gonna stick with Rhydon and do a dig. You know, that dig TM in Cerulean City was a godsend. <laughs> what would we ever do without it? I mean, we could, we, sure we could catch a Diglett, but we would still have to grind considerably if we don't find a strong enough Diglett. <laughs> what I notice about uh, this game, however, and what I like is that the, the trainers kind of give more money. <laughs> Like, I suddenly have thousands of Poké Dollars without realizing it, and I, I live for that. Okay, so I'm gonna heal my Pokémon and also box that Flash TM so it wouldn't take up space. It's not Bill's PC, my PC. I'm gonna box this. Oh, and the Moonstone as well. Okay. And then, after we defeat Lieutenant Surge, we're, we're off to Rock Tunnel, and then off to Celadon City. That's actually an important destination, Celadon City, because that's where we're gonna get some important TMs. Speaking of TMs, we're gonna have the Thunderbolt TM, which I plan to give to Gengar, so we could have something to attack with. Alright, I have to solve this garbage cans. There are two keys in these. Uh, there's a switch, right? So it, it, it should be. The second electric lock should be in one of these things. Adjacent to the one where I found the first one. Now it's just trial and error. Alright, we got it on this, the first try. Alright, let's go. And hot. Did I? I forgot if I um if I switched right on first. Oh, he's only using right shoe. Okay. Twenty eight. That's high, and I'm level twenty one. That's fine. So at least Lapras would get some uh, experience. Raichu looks good. This is the only Raichu that I'll encounter. I'm not able to evolve the partner Pikachu. It could only Mega Kick me. That was amazing. Yeah. All right, nice and easy. A thunder badge. See, th this is also a feature of Pokemon Yellow that's unique to Gen One. Winning a badge would provide permanent boosts to your stats. Oh, it I could also use Fly. Fly would be in Celadon City. TM twenty four there. We would use Thunderbolt for Gengar. We need to equip it with a with a strong special attacking move. I have another max potion. I should box that. Alright, Gengar has something to attack with. Finally. 
Okay. Before um I'm gonna I'm gonna switch purple guy to here. And then I just wanna make sure that Blues Gamer is going to be at level 20 before I grind the others, just so it's not so far behind. Actually, let me see. Okay, so that's three out of eight badges, and we're gonna begin our perilous journey to Celadon City. Rock Tunnel, what do I think about Rock Tunnel? I think I've said this before, I don't like exploring caves. It gives me claustrophobia. <laughs> and I, I just don't like caves. But I think Rock Tunnel is the second largest cave. Aside from Victory Road. Okay. We are gonna go back to Cerulean City and make our way... Why does it keep doing that? I forgot. Um, Celadon City is also where we could buy drinks for the guards, so we could uh, access different cities by just passing through them. Okay. I think that patch of grass up there is where I can catch Nidorino and Nidorina. I'm gonna explore that. Hmm, an ice type attack would have been good here. Okay, never mind. Let's use Mew Muffin. What I like about Cloister, that, that was one of the choices I was, uh, <laughs> That's one of the options I was considering. It has uh, Aurora Beam from the get-go. However, it doesn't have a good special stat. Jesus Christ, this oddish. Okay, good. Served. So I get a grass type trainer. Let's just use Mega Punch, which could miss. Mega Punch is stronger than Cut, right? Or no? Rap is annoying. I mean, it's fun when we're the one using it. But on the receiving end, it's annoying. Oddish. Mega Punch is but has slow accuracy. Right, you're right. I think Cut doesn't have a hundred percent accuracy as well. Is that right? Who's the next Pokemon? Level twenty one. Bell Sprout. 
sure. Let's bring out Luke. Body slam. Wow, the body slam is just a killing machine, especially if I'm able to set up a leer beforehand. <laughs> and, you know, if we're being very honest, Dragonite is holding back because, for one, it doesn't have stabs. For good stabs in Gen 1, it can't learn fly, it can't learn wing attack. No dragon type move exists aside from dragon rage. It's holding back and it's still <laughs> eating its opponents alive. Okay. I'm gonna put Dragonite up next here. TM30. What's TM30? <clears throat> teleport. Can anyone of the Pokemon learn teleport? That would have been nice. Muffin is the only one who could learn teleport. Well, we're not using Transform anytime soon, and teleporting to the last Pokemon Center would be very nice. Yeah. Yeah, we can forget Transform. The Pokemon are bad. <laughs> Our enemies are usually bad. We, we don't want to use Transform anyway. Oh, this should be a hiker. If it has rock type Pokemon, then Lapras could get some training. Let's try Water Gun, see what it does. Oh, we're faster, good. Alright, because of the speed boost from Lieutenant Surge. Cut 50 damage, 85 accuracy, make a bunch of 80 damage, 85 accuracy. Wow, I didn't know Cut was so weak. I was thinking of that Cut was strong, but I think I was thinking about Slash. That makes sense. I think Bind is similar to Wrap, but it's kind of a, um, a signature move of Onyx in Gen 1. Alright. Oh yeah, this is the way to that patch of grass where I can catch the needles. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, more training for Lapras. Wow, that speed boost is really impactful, isn't it? Slash is 70 damage with high crit rates per, per person in Gen 1. Yes. Does Tauros also get Slash? I forgot. Tauros is also a menace in Gen 1. Drill. Lapras does take a while to grow. We've been battling with it for some time with some high experienced opponents and it still hasn't leveled up.
Maybe after this beagle, it's gonna level up. Oh my god, that did nothing. Alright, let's switch into Dragonite. Let's body slam this bee. We've already did some chip damage. Maybe we we won't need Leer, right? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. All right, it's level twenty. Mist. I think that prevents stat drops. This one I'm gonna uh, use Leer. Focus energy. There you go. Perfect. And Luke is also at level 21. So the next that we will train... Gengar. Who's Ashenfield again? Oh, the Machamp, right. <laughs> we don't want that. We're looking for Nidorino and Nidorina. Let's try our newfound move. Thunderbolt. Okay, that's satisfying. <laughs> Gengar finally has... Oh, and it's strong. Gengar finally has a move that could deal strong damage. We keep finding the, the Nidorans. Let's find something cool. Spiro. Oh, another Thunderbolt father. One. How am I not finding the needles that I want? Maybe I should put Thunderbolt in front. Yeah. And because of Gengar's natural speed, naturally high speed, crits are more likely. Okay, yeah, let me put Thunderbolt as the first move. Okay, it's now level 21. Good. If we don't find the needles right away, at least we'll have a chance to grind. Please, please show up. In a separate place, I'm, I'm sure that this is where I found them. <laughs> Almost there. We need your vault for money. We already got one of you.
I want Machamp to learn um, Focus Energy because Karate Chop is a high crit move and we could use that. Hyper Fang? Sick of these ratatas. Uh, yes, let me find a Nidorino and Nidorina. Uh, you know, if everybody is at level 21 and I still haven't found them, I'm moving on. Great. Maybe I should have taught Bubble Beam to Lapras, actually. <laughs> Water Gun is kind of weak. Well, too late now. Even with stabs, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Maybe I'm just judging too early. If you do find one, call it... This heart is blocking them. Nierina or Nierino. Okay. That yes. I shall do that. I hope we do find one because I'm not about to waste time. <laughs> I know they're they are in the safari zone. That's an easier way. But if I could find them here, then that's gonna be even better. this this is already a win I didn't know fear was here what should we name the Firo? Firo is actually good but we already have a flying type in Dragonite Furio. Yes. How do I make a space? Is this it? Oh, I know. Please be stronger, water gun. Okay, that's a bit better. Vaporeon really is the superior water type with a special, the special stat. 
it Lapras just has the ice typing that we need, that's why I went for it. And it's also won the pole, so okay, that's fine. Vaporeon also gets Aurora Beam. I wish Lapras got Aurora Beam. Radicate, have I caught one of these? God, that's ugly. <sighs> it looks hideous. What should we call you? <laughs> that's giving Team Rocket Pokemon. I think I will call you Remy. From Ratatouille. Oh, Strong Fang. Remy SF. Remy Strong Fang. How many more experience until Lapras is not level 21? It's quite a lot. Hopefully, that's enough time to find the Nidos. I really hope we find some. Come on. Call on your big brothers and sisters. We need them to catch them. <laughs> it's giving poacher energy. God, they're really eluding us, aren't they? Lapras only has water guns and attacking me. I should have gave something to Lapras. But then again, Dragonite would have been stuck with Rap if I didn't give it Bubble Beam. Oh no. Let's switch someone else. Let's have Muffin. If I teleport, I think I'll be back in Vermilion City. Because I didn't visit the Cerulean City Pokemon Center. That's too far. I, I'm not gonna teleport. <laughs> I'll just manually walk to the center once Slappers is at level 21. There you go! Finally you show up! Now I just have to find a neat arena.
Do we have enough characters? Well, we have we have enough characters to do this. All right, now we just need a neat arena, and we can get out of here. I was thinking of another move, one that halves your HP. That was Super Fang. Hyper Fang is different. Rattata is like... <laughs> um, what, what, what does that meme? How does that meme go? Rattata walked so Mousehold could run. <laughs> This is our second Fero, and still no need arena. Alright, we need to go back to the Pokemon Center because this is our last water gun. I like the, I like how the colors change depending on where you are. And Cerulean City is per, is a particular favorite. I think I've said this before. I like shades of blue in general. And Cerulean City is where Mewtwo is, there, in that cave, which we're gonna visit at the finale. Please, let's find a neat arena. Why is Rattata kind of yellow? It shouldn't be purple. Right? Yeah. Of these things again. Oh. 
Alright, I guess we're not finding Nina right now. We're moving on. Um, we're just gonna have to find Nina in the Safari Zone. Switch. Should we do one, just one more encounter? Let's just do one more. Maybe it's Nidorina. Um. Nah, it's really not meant for us. Okay, let's just kill you. Out of spite. There you go. Bye. It's a shiny one? How do you know? I think I don't think shinies were introduced until Gen 2. <laughs> Dragonite. Oh yeah, this is what I was thinking. I gave Luke um, Bubble Beam because it doesn't have a way to hit rock types. And it, it feels wasteful, but I might have to use the Ice Beam TM on Lapras. Lapras actually learns Ice Beam, but at a high level. So... Ah. Dang. You really can't have it all, can't you? Catcher <clears throat> Caterpies. Venonet. We can one shot this, right? Nah, guess not. Shiny or Tata have a tiny color to them. Oh. Let's put Luke next, and then... This looks good. In, in my separate playthrough, I did pick Cloyster. And Aurora Beam, I would say, is quite useful early game ice type move.
body slam. Diglett? Okay, this is a good time to dig. Sand Shrew. I think we'll dig as well. Oh, we're faster. Good. I'm not used to ride on moving first because it's naturally slow. Speed isn't its strong suit. What's in this patch of grass? Nidorina? We'll just encounter one. We're just gonna check what's in here. <sighs> we're being we're being played. Last one. Really? Okay. The RNG is playing with us and we're not having it. I'm moving on. What's in this? Oh, nothing. Aren't you a little toughy? Gengar still doesn't have a way to hit rock types. Uh, let's see. Let's start with Confuse Ray. And then Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade is quite powerful now. It's 21. Fixed damage of 21. Those defense boosts don't mean a thing with no chain. Okay, my chop. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try a leak. Do we get the paralysis? No. Okay. Hurt yourself. Yes. All right. We're on a roll with these level scalings. Okay, um, everyone is at level 22, mostly everyone. I like it, satisfying. 
Don't you dare condescend me. I'm not doing anything. Meows. I was about to say, Meows can't do a critical hit, <laughs> but shell armor wasn't a thing in this generation. I am unable to block critical hits at this time. But and so Alright, we've cleared the trainers. What's in this patch of grass? Magnemite. We haven't caught one, right? And it's still high level too. Okay, we are catching you. What should I call you? Gem? Let's call you Gem. Another one. Okay, we'll just knock you out. Uncle. All right, I'm done. I'll just fight the trainer, the one trainer here before. Going to the Pokemon Center. <clears throat> Jigglypuff. I know Jigglypuff is bulky. So I need to lower its defenses first after I wake up. Galvatron. Actually, that's better. <laughs> if I find another Magnemite, I'll call it Galvatron. None of your nonsense, Jigglypuff. Clefairy. Clefairy.
<laughs> Fairy types didn't exist in this generation, so we're good. There you are. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another Magnemite, so we can call it Galvatron before going to the Pokemon Center. There you go, there's Galvatron. Let us heal. My internet might be slow because there's a snowstorm at the moment. Oh my god, stay safe. I can't relate because it doesn't snow in the Philippines. The most that we've had was, I guess, I guess in the in the remote mountains, it does kind of snow. We have frost, not snow, in the mountains. But please do stay safe. should get some good battles here. There's just a lot of rock types. Oh, and I can catch Onyx here. This is a big place. I anticipate that I'll have to at least go back to the Pokemon Center at least once just because of how big the place is. I'll run out of PPs. So sad that water gun is weak. Should have should have taught bubble beam to Lapras. Slowpoke. This thing refuses to die. Lapras can't do anything to that. Ashen Field as well. And it might have a psychic type attack. So let's bring in um Gengar, the Thunderbolt. It's been going on for almost a week now. That's a long time for a snowstorm. I didn't realize they could do that. <laughs> Have you guys experienced, um, hail? It, there was one very rare time. I think it was in, um, in a province called Batangas or Baguio, either one of these. They experienced hail. And it's ruining the roofs of houses. Roofs of houses. I guess hail is worse than snow, isn't it? Okay, 
Hail is actually painful because you have blocks of ice falling. In the Middle East, in some parts of it, my aunt also mentioned that they experienced hail. That's weird because desert having hail. But it happens. again. <gasps> okay, we're good. Because the special stat is just one stat, it actually saved us. That has also been going on along the snowstorm. Yikes. Everybody's at level 22, so we, we can level up again into another cycle. Much. Do I have one of these? I don't think so. I have my sham. Superpower Pokemon. Let's call you Superman. Bulbasaur. Wow. I did not see that coming. This would have been bad if dark types existed, but it doesn't. Let's use cut to finish it off. Hmm. 
Another no. mission. No, stop. Charmander. Do they have all the starters in this cave? didn't kill? Well, I'm not wasting a body slam on Q-Bone. Okay. We'll switch in Luke. Lots of Machop. Machop. I believe Celadon City is also where we could get Rock Slide. I think. I'm excited for Rock Slide. Hit me with your best shot. I will. Next is Purple Guy. Uh. 
I don't have a rock type move. Poor Dink. I wonder how far I am. I, I think I still have a lot, a long way to go, but I hope I'm far. <laughs> I want to be out of here so bad. Tail whip and then stomp. That's not enough. I haven't used horn attack. Good. GM2. So, uh, Muffin, I will be doing... I, I plan to do a Union Circle stream on Saturdays, and hopefully that's going to be every Saturday. Would you be joining? We're going to do the Indigo Disc, BP Farming, Shiny Hunting, all that shipping. I'd love it if you could join. Now, the, the last one I believe that we did was on Christmas Eve. Oh my god, that was a good time. And it's actually one, one of, not one of my, it is the most viewed stream ever. Most participated stream, and I like it. It's fun. And I hope to do lots of them. If, if you're able, I hope you're, you can join. Choose TV and passion field. Okay, God, uh, Thunderbolt is so useful. Water gun. 
though. I'm going to be busy on Saturday. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, and if you can rest, take a rest. We all need that. You know, just to share in my... Uh, I'm currently freelancing on top of this YouTube thing. And when I'm into the groove, like when I'm really into it with what I'm doing, I forgot. I forget to rest. So, I've made a decision that... It, since there aren't like I, I don't work a corporate job so there's hardly any rules that uh, set me back it's up to me and i've decided that every sunday will be rest day i will not be working i will not be or rather i will be doing minimum household chores i just need that one day of reset so the next six days i could go again do my best so even though you're busy on saturday i hope you could use sunday to perhaps rest and be get yourself ready for the coming week mm, okay god this cave is big i want to be out of here so bad Lapras is at level 23. So it's just Ash and Field. And then we could do another cycle of leveling. hit with low kick. Yes. At this level difference, yes we can. This one I definitely need to use Leer. Ah! Please survive. That good to rest, it's important. Dang, that was strong. Graveler. Rock throw. I'm jealous. I want rock throw. No. experience points wasted. Alright, I'll have to go back. I don't have any revives and I need my champ to be alive. I'll use Dig. I can't teleport in a cave. So this is my first trip back to the Pokemon Center. I hope I don't have to make another one.
I love the bike music. It, it gives a sense of wonder and adventure, as most Pokemon music does. But this one is particularly cheerful. I like it. Okay, we can begin the next cycle of leveling because Ashenfield is at level 23. Muffin, you're up. Ghost Gamer has arrived. Hello, you have. Welcome. Good morning. Evening. <laughs> it's morning on my end. So, little update, Blues Gamer. We are now at Rock Tunnel. Last week, we ended the stream in, um, what was that place? SSN. We have since gone to the Glitz Cave, defeated Lieutenant Search, and we are now on our way to Celadon City, a very important destination. Oh, and here's the Lapras named after you. It's actually doing good, but I do, I do wish that I gave it a Bubble Beam instead of Dragonite. Because outside of ground and rock types, Water Gun is having a tough time knocking out opponents in one hit, even with stabs. And that's sad. <laughs> So, um, I will be hosting an another stream this Saturday, and hopefully that's going to be every Saturday. The, um, the Union Circle streams. Do you think you'll be able to join this time? I recall last time you weren't able to join, but hopefully this time you can. And you know what? I didn't realize that it, it could be an ongoing thing, because I, I was under the assumption that people would be tired of it, but I guess not. We need BP to catch the legendaries and for the biomes to get the starters. So, it's something I could do for a long time. I actually got a few more minutes before my college, so I'm just in my dorm room. Oh, well, have a good day in class. Oh, God, college. 
you know, I, I, I kind, kind of, I kind of wish that I experienced the dorm, dorm life for myself. It seems fun, like having roommates. But I, I see why it would uh, get old real quick. Um. Mega Punch. Alright, Zubat is one of the few Pokemon that could actually hurt Muffin. Because it has Leech Life, one of the only bug type moves in the game for Gen 1. Level 24, okay. It's time to cycle. I'm gonna bring in Luke. Well, living in a dorm room isn't that bad, and the roomies are chill, but it's just the fact that we have to wake up every day, single day at 5, 10 a.m. That's quite early. What time does class start? Well, recently, because of uh, this freelancing situation, I have to get... Or, I, I rather, I've chosen... I've chosen to wake up at 5.30 every day, so we're kind of in the same predicament in that regard. 5.50? What kind of class starts at 5.50? <laughs> I am so attending in my pajamas. They give us 40 minutes to eat breakfast, meet friends, get ready, and yeah. Oh my god. And I thought my schedule was bad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Seriously, 5.50. 5 and 50. I think my semester is almost over. Oh yeah, semesters. You know, back when I was in college, I, uh, I was uh, I have a bachelor's degree in accounting. So we'd have semesters like m most schools. But, you know, like the standard time to finish accounting in college here in the Philippines is five years. But in my school, we do it in four because we have summer semesters. And it's actually required, or you won't graduate in time, quote unquote, on time. Like, what's the rush? <laughs> I, do you guys have summer semesters as well? Or, yeah, you just rest during the summer? Oh, I have $42 because, um, the Meowth used payday. Thank you, Meowth. I'm not sure if in Scarlet and Violet, if Make It Rain would also give you additional money. <laughs> I think it does. They actually give us a resting time of May to August, it's very chill. May, June, July, August. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a long time. Good.
have I asked this before but what what are you uh, majoring in what what are you studying in college hiker Oh, I have Earth Science. Oh, that's fun. I think I had a, a quick... We had a quick Earth Science subject in uh, the, fr the freshman year in high school. It was a long time ago, I can't remember. But Earth Science is fun. I love science in general. Except physics. I don't like physics. Because of the formulas, the computations and stuff. Earth science is fun. Biology is fun. Chemistry, human body, biology, biology, and nice. <clears throat> you know what's one subject I wish I paid more attention to? And algebra forgot to mention that. Oh, algebra. <laughs> like the basic algebra is is fun, I would say. But the complicated stuff, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, the one subject I wish I paid more attention to was history. Like, the, the teaching method is re really matters. Our teachers slash professors mostly made us read lots of stuff. And I didn't appreciate it until I encountered, um, if you guys know Bailey Sarian, the YouTuber that uh, combines makeup and true crime. So she, she does true crime stories while she does her makeup. I find it fascinating. It's like gossip, <laughs> almost. But it, it, the way she does it is so captivating. Like, my history professors just didn't do it that way. It's like gossip but normal. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, why did I bring Lapras? Can't do anything to this slowpoke. Um... Oh, you should definitely check her out, Bailey Sarian. I'll type I, I'll type her name in the chat, Bailey Sarian. If you guys know Jeffrey Dahmer, the American uh, serial killer, that's that's where I knew him from, Bailey. I watch her channel when I need to pass time. I think he has a Netflix show. Jeffrey Dahmer, like the monster story. Of course I know him. I was 16 when he was arrested. Dang. <laughs> He's from Wisconsin, is that right? I'm not sure. Milwaukee? Where is that? There. I was about to bring Gengar, because Gengar is the one with Thunderbolt. <laughs> if only the history teachers did it like Bailey, I would pay so much more attention. Why, what kind of history in general or Filipino history? Like history in general. Filipino history, I'm actually, I actually didn't pay attention e either. <laughs> but 
um we had asian history we had world history in high school what was the other stuff and the war you know the the world wars i wish i paid more attention to those the nazis and Th those stuff I only found out in movies and documentaries that I've watched over the years. The Holocaust. I guess history is best ta best taught in a video format, like a storytelling, because that's that's what it is. It's it's a retelling of events. Text does not do it justice. Oh my God! What's the next Pokemon? I forgot. Slow poke. Okay. It's a good thing I kept Gengar Thunderbolt. Oh, far away. She got it. Got it. All right. Have fun in class. How about you, Muffin? Do you go to college? Or school in general? I go for power because I hate thinking. <laughs> well, isn't that something? You know, just to share, um, so I'm currently working on my Flutter Main 101 video, and I thought it was going to be easier this time around since I already know, uh, I've already released the Archaladon video, and I guess the hard part was forming a team, because I, I, I want to wrap up the video by having a team that uh, people could try out. I've used Flutter main before in competitive, but I didn't like build around it. Y you know what I mean? <clears throat> because usually, <clears throat> usually I start with one Pokemon and then build around it. I have used Flutter main, but it was the team with the Flutter main was built around Heatran, so I was used. That's the playstyle that I'm used to. I'm not. I haven't created a team with Flutter Mean as the focal point in general. And I realized that this is something that I have to do with every Pokemon that I pick to do a 101 analysis on. So th th that's taking so, so long. But, like, but then again, team building is fun for competitive. I find it fun. It's a fun challenge. So th that's it. I just thought I'd share. Team building for competitive is challenging but fun. 
You didn't pay attention to Filipino history. You missed the alien invasion. <laughs> I do not, but I have taken up geology and vo vo volcanology as a hobby. Oh, fun. Um, invasion, invasion. Yes. Um, I might lose my Filipino card, but if I remember correctly, we were invaded by the Americans, the Japanese, the British, and the Spanish people. That's where our uh, mixed cultures come from. It's horrible if you think about it. Like our ancestors went through a lot. But it's also what brought us to today. We are the way we are because of what happened in the past. I think I'm almost out. Almost out of here. This is like a new area I haven't been to in the rock tunnel. Gosh, an ice type move would really be useful. I must get to Celadon at once so I can get Ice Beam. A fairy. So Muffin, what are you most interested in geology and volcanology? What do you find uh, most interesting about them? Um, for, as for me, um, I find the things that we, f we discover underground very interesting. Like fossils, dinosaur bones, finding them after millions of years. That is pretty cool. And the people from Mars as well as was most impactful war in Filipino history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish that would have been cool. If, if that really happened. <laughs> that would have been really cool. Just a hypothetical question. If you could go back to the ancient world, like the world of the dinosaurs, would you? <laughs> it w I, I think it would be very interesting to see what the world was like when the dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. Like, the, the con there, we just had one supercontinent back then. I think it would be fascinating. The animals are very large. I find that fascinating. And so are the plants. They had large plants back then.
And speaking of everything, it's just enjoyable to learn things about Earth in general. Yes, it is our home planet after all. When I watch Earth documentaries, I, I want... Uh, I'm particularly interested in ones that explore the different um, ecosystems that we have. Like... Uh, the deep sea, like the oceans in general, our rainforests, those kind of things. Where uh, David... I forgot his last name. The BBC UK host... He would usually be the one uh, narrating them. Was it David? <laughs> Forgot. I might get cancelled, but he's a famous. David Attenborough. I would love to see that everything was completely different from the animals to the plants, yes. It's like Paradox Pokemon Energy. How about this? If you're if you were given a choice to travel between the past and the future, which one would you pick? That's interesting. Personally, I think I would want. Well, I, both is both are interesting, but I think I'd pick the future. <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> What's ahead of us? Let's switch in Muffin, and I'll use Cut to take this Oddish down. Ugh, stupid powders. No more paralyze heals. Past always. Good choice. Well, I guess Ashen Field will have to stay paralyzed until we get out of here because I am out of paralyze heals. That's annoying. Is this the way out? Oh, shoot. Yes. Alright. I guess he's not gonna be paralyzed for long. <clears throat> I'm excited. We're about to hear the iconic Lavender Town music. It's just a couple of steps away. and less accuracy, alright. 
That is annoying AF. <sighs> Alright. Good Ashen Field, you have done enough. Let's bring up Muffin. She is annoying me. Let's bring out Luke. Clear and then body slam. If I could choose, I would like the Paleozoic era because most life is underwater and I want to, want to know what the land looks like in the Paleocene and Pile Pleistocene era when it, when humans evolved. Ooh, Pri primal humans. Wouldn't that be a sight to see? We were more like walking monkeys during that time. Fascinating. Do you know those things um, where Kabuto was based off? I think they're called horseshoe crabs. They have blue blood, <laughs> but you try to extract it. Well, my, they, they look like living fossils, don't they? And actually, I think the closest thing that we can observe from dinosaurs nowadays is are crocodiles and alligators. You know... Recent studies would suggest that dinosaurs are actually feathered creatures. But <laughs> it kind of takes away from the dramatic monsters that the uh, Jurassic World has created for us. Fe feathered creatures are fun, you know, and all, but I would like them to look more like crocodiles, like reptiles, rather than birds. to see what the land looks like in the Paleozoic era, I mean. Oh yes. Imagine... Oh, no human inter intervention. There's no garbage. Artificial garbage. It's just the wild wilderness of everything. That would have been a sight to see. Here's another interesting question. Um, let's assume there would be Bigfoots, Bigfoots and Yetis everywhere. Yes. <laughs> Here, here's another interesting question. Um, let's assume that you could be alone in the world for one day. What's the first thing that you would do? Maybe name your top three. The top three things you would do. 
if you could be alone in the world for one day how about me what would i do <laughs> rob a bank <laughs> Uh, but what would I really do if I could be alone in the world for one day? I never, th I've never given much thought about it. <laughs> oh, Ashen Field has been raised more than enough. It's actually stronger than Muffin. Um. Horseshoe crabs are living fossils like sharks and dragonflies. Oh yeah! Sh sharks and dragonflies. Mosquitoes. Aren't mosquitoes in like um, these amber amber things in Jurassic World? There's also this fish called um, sturgeons. I think they look like fossils as well. Oh, and you know the Greenland shark? The ones that look really, really old? Yeah, I think those are those look prehistoric as well. Oh, and the ones where uh, Relicanth was based off. Coelacanths, I believe. That's what. Coelacanths, that's, where th th that's what they were called. Max Ether. Man, I'm finding a lot of uh, Victory Road tools. Um, Voltex. I think it's your first time here, or maybe not. <laughs> I have a Vulpix toy figurine. One smash and destroy stuff goes and you can three sell cars and go nuts. <laughs> well, we do have some pent up rage, don't we? Welcome to the stream, Voltex. We have, uh, we do this. I am from India. Hello. How do you say hello in India? Hello. Um, anywho, we plan to we, we do this um, retro game stream. Hopefully every Thursday. I, I want to commit it every Thursday. And if you also have the, a Nintendo Switch, on Saturday, I plan to start uh, like a weekly BP farming stream. Namaste, there. Namaste, Voltix. Okay, um, so as I was saying, on Saturday, I'm planning to start a, a BP farming stream. So if you have the Indigo Disc and you still haven't bought the biomes, or you, you just need the, the snacks for the legendary Pokemon, I can help. Slowpoke. I'm gonna bring out Gengar because it has Thunderbolt. <laughs> Ugh. Stupid RNG. super potion Gengar has to do this because not a lot of my team mate, team members could uh, damage slow code it just refuses to die don't be confused okay. Okay. What history time period would you like? To oh yes, a 
Voltex we were also asking. So here we're gonna ask you the same question. Uh, if you could go, if you have a choice to go to the past or the future, which would you pick? We're gonna have a rival battle. I should put Muffin first. The Pokemon Tower. I'm gonna name the next Pokemon that I ca catch Voltix. There he is, the asshole. <laughs> Hero. Speak very little English. It's fine. We can work with what you have. <clears throat> Shelder. What do I have for Shelder? Thunderbolt. Okay, this is lab versus battle. Look at that, we're fighting a Vulpix. Ramdan Mubarak. Is it Ram? What, what does that mean? Mubarak is like a greeting. Is that right? <laughs> I may be wrong. All right, the Sancho. Another battle for our dear Lapras. EV Ash and Phil can take this on. Yes. You know what? I I should have taken a picture when I was fighting a Vulpix with my Vulpix and my laptop. Oh, I should have chosen low kick. <clears throat> Loser. What is your name? It's Wayne. Let me type it. There you go. I can't find a grown up Marowak yet. Oh, I forgot um, the bat, the sad, sad backstory. Stupid Team Rocket. 
I know if I go any further, I won't be able to battle because of the self scope thing. Thank you. I'll have to do the self scope uh, quest first. But first, I must get to Celadon City. I'll go my way, I'll make my way to Celadon City. So I can get some useful TMs. Ice Beam and Rock Slide. I think I'm running low on potions. Oh no 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 no. The Celadon City has a big department store. I could just get some items from there. I know my way around Kanto. You can dismiss the ghost using the polka doll at the top of the tower. Polka doll, polka doll. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. But I think I want to go to Celadon City first because I've been meaning to get the ice beam TM for Lapras. It's, <laughs> if I'm being honest, it sucks right now. It just has water gun, and I'll need ice beam for Erica anyway. It is 7.50 in India right now. 7.50 a.m. So I am three hours ahead of you. It is 10.23 now. In our time. You know, I, I, um, uh, time zones are quite sad <laughs> for some of us. There was this uh, member of our community. His name is Will. And... He meant to participate in our uh, Union Circle live streams, but unfortunately, I am eight hours ahead of the UK, which would translate to... So I, I stream from 8 a.m. to 12 noon Manila time, and in the UK, that would mean 12 midnight to 4 a.m. It's sad. I wouldn't want to keep him up or other people up during those hours, but... It's the only time I'm available. Sad. You know what? Come to think of it, on my on, on Upwork, the site where I'm freelancing. Some of my some of the lucrative deals are from the UK. Maybe that's why I'm not getting any <laughs> because of the time zone difference. Okay, I will definitely take a picture real quick. I'm gonna put this Vulpix figurine on my laptop and take a picture while I'm battling Vulpix. Real quick because it's cute. I'll also do a shot where Vulpix is watching itself. Like who that? Oh, this is gonna be so cute for my story. All right. Enough pictures. More. Less pictures. More playing. I'm following you right now. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Paralyzed. I wonder why Roar doesn't work. Oh, I have Bubble Beam. Jesus. <clears throat> I 
I think I could also catch a Growlithe in that patch of grass and Vulpix. Or is Vulpix uh, exclusive to the Pokemon Mansion? Super Nerd has Grimer. Dig should uh, do the job. You know what? Come to think of it, there's a lot of important stuff in Celadon City. There's the Fly T, Fly HM. You have your TMs. You have the department store. Celadon City is a huge uh, destination. game because it's popular in many. I have not tried... I, uh, I have not played Pal World. I have heard of it. It's like Pokemon with guns. Maybe I'll... I'll here's the thing. Maybe I'll, I'll try it on my own time. And if I like it, why not? Maybe I'll play it. Will you try the slot mini game? You know what? I haven't tried that in my uh, previous playthrough of Yellow. Yes, I will try it. <laughs> Purple guy, let's switch you here. Followed by Juice TV and Moose Gamer. Alright, well, we're almost... We're halfway done with the level 25 cycle. We just have three more members of our team that needs leveling up. Abra! Have we caught one of these before? I'm gonna name this Abra Voltix. I think we were looking for Abra but never encountered one. That's right. This is our first Abra. Okay, bye. I'm going to school. Have fun! I'm definitely saving it. <laughs> Abra has a good sprite. I will say that.
Thanks, you're welcome. I know there's... I know I can find Vulpix here, I think. Let me try. Another Abra! What should I call you? Shall I remember? That's a long name. Do we have enough characters for that? Let's try. We can... Jellers! We can afford Jeller. <clears throat> oh my. This is our third Abra. I'm not gonna catch this. I'm just gonna KO it. <clears throat> It's faster than us. <laughs> Guess not. Jigglypuff. I will be back in a minute. Alright, hurry back. We have a Jigglypuff. I'll just stomp this. Or an attack. Cadabra! Oh my god, I didn't know you could find wild Cadabra. I think we just hit the jackpot here. Oh my god. Cadaver. It's sad that we can't evolve this. Another one! <laughs> yes! We are so lucky. We might not have found a Nidorina, but we found two Cadabras. I don't know what the word means, but Macabre. Oops. Alright, it's back to stupid rats. We're gonna knock this out and move on.
How did everything go? Well, if you would scroll a bit backwards, we found two cadabras. I named one Cadaver, and I named the second one Macabre. We, we did not find a Nidorina, but we found two cadabras, which is better <laughs> in every way for Gen 1. Yes, I would say so. type move. This would be fun. <laughs> I'm saving dig for those nasty poison types because it's hard to hit them uh, for super effective damage. Like this one. Oh, you know, you know what I could have named the uh, Cadabra? Sorcerer. If I ever find another one, I'll, I'll name it Sorcerer. Sorcery. Merlin. Yes, Merlin. Oh, it's giving pirate vibes. I like it. I think there are Kadabra in uh, Mewtwo's cave. I'm not sure. I can feel I can feel the team uh, getting stronger. I mean, it, it, it is strong, <laughs> like, of course, but I, I feel it getting stronger with the moves that they're getting, upgrades. <clears throat> Hold on, I didn't, I can't find my water bottle. <laughs> Give me a moment, I'll just get my water, real quick. Ah, 
<clears throat> I am back. <clears throat> Hold on. Give me a chance. Okay. Thunderbolt. You know what? I should have used the lick to finish off the Nidoran. That was wasteful. <clears throat> now, Nidorina shows up. We wanted one, but couldn't. Was not able to find one. <clears throat> oh, the sprite is good. I like the blue. I'm currently playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee right now. Hi, Nathan. I'm kind of playing something similar, but it's the OG uh, Kanto games. I have a Let's Go Eevee as well. How are you enjoying it? Yes, do tell, Nathan. What are you playing on? Emulator? Does that answer your question? Hi, ROS Gaming. I, I, I think this is the first time I've seen you here. Welcome. Persian Gen 1 slash Broken. Yes, and in, in, in Let's Go, it, it's up, it has updated mechanics. So it's fun. Have you gotten um, Alolan Ninetales yet in Let's Go Eevee? Yeah. You should definitely get Alola Nine Tails. Yes, hi, how did you get Gengar in game? That's cool. I hacked it in. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not the best. It's not the most um what it, what do we call it? honorable. But here's the thing. When I played BDSP, I was really disappointed that it did not follow platinum mechanics, right? And the only way that I was able to get through the story was if I used the Pokemon that I wanted. So, I bought I bought the ones that I wanted to use from home. I, I had Togekiss, Dusk Noir, Raikou, Manaphy, which did not listen to me because it was at level 50 and it wouldn't do shit until I got all the badges. So, I, I found that using the Pokemon that I love would help me uh, love the game more. Mods make the game more fun. How we wish we could play as kids, no worries. Right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, and guess who my HM slaves is? Who, who my HM slave is? What? Who's the next Pokemon? Meowth. Yeah, we can take care of Meowth. Two gems to go. Oh, if you have a water type like Lapras over here, you could have a feast. Gen 1 mine was always Paris HM slave. <laughs> The struggle with Gen 1 games is that HMs, they take up a move slot. And you would often have to sacrifice a slot in your team. So, I, I used a Pokemon that could learn everything. Body Slam, yes. Lapras needs a move other than Water Gun. 
We don't need Sing. Thank you, Lapras. You learned such good moves. Alright. My HM slave is called Muffin. And he's a Mew. So, in the end game, I want Muffin to have Psychic as the stab. We're almost at Saffron City. We just have to buy a drink for the guards. And we can get Psychic. And then the other three would just be HM moves. Teleport, that's gonna be replaced by something else. Fly, it's gonna be replaced by Fly. It's so it's so weird that Dragonite cannot learn fly. They hacked me into the game and I'm talking to everyone using psychic power. Yes. Speaking of muffin, it's it's muffin's time to shine because our level 25 cycle is over. We we must uh, start anew. The strongest Pokemon of the is reduced to this. I know. Well, if, if Muffin is uh, <laughs> Muffin is doing a good service. <laughs> Cutting trees, flying, lighting up caves. It's for a good cause. On a serious note, we need to get that Psychic TM. He feeds and takes care of me well. Yes. <clears throat> Speaking of Let's Go Eevee, uh, Nathan. <clears throat> I hate that I have to uh, remove my controller from my Switch every time I want to fly. Like, why? Who's thought of that? Poliwhirl. Is Poliwhirl a part fighting type? I forgot. I think it's a randomizer, I see. The one that I'm playing right now? No, 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 no. <clears throat> I hacked my team in because I wanted to use strong, good, uh, good Pokemon from the get-go. But everything else is normal. Juice TV. Oh, Luke. I must get Luke. Here's Pure Water Polyrath is part fighting. Oh. I see. Have you guys seen Politoed's um have you guys tried using Politoed in like the the auto battle feature in Scarlet and Violet? It's so cute. It hops like an actual frog. Oh, and ROS Gaming as well as Nathan, you only got here. Um I will be hosting a stream for BP farming in the Indigo Disc. I hope I hope to commit that to be a, a regular thing every Saturdays, Manila time. I hope you could join if you're if you're available. Please, it's it's so fun. You know I have all the snacks for the legendaries, but I haven't had the time nor the interest to hunt them one by one. I'll just hunt them as I need them. I've gotten so far, um, I've gotten Suicune, Entei, Raikou. I think that's it. I may have gotten Necroz Necrozma as well, but I, I'm not sure. You're, you're literally just popped up on recommended love poke streaming. Oh, thank you. 
Well, I'm gonna be streaming more from now on since I've decided to go full-time with content creation. I love it when YouTube helps push my content. Don't we all? I'm also uh, starting a new series on competitive Pokemon, like the 101 stuff. I released um, our Shallowdon 101 three days ago. And I'm following up with a Flutter main 101 video, but it's still in the works. Magnemite. Thank god the Steel type didn't exist yet. I could get away with Body Slam. Just like that. If I go further here, I don't think the guards will let me. So... Isn't it odd that the legendary birds have a lower base stat total than Dragonite? I know! If anything, Dragonite should be the legendary Pokemon. And what's more, are you aware that in, in, this, in these games, they don't have the same base stat total? Like, one is stronger than the other. Nowadays, they've standardized it to 580. Everyone gets 580. But here, it, that's not the case. One bird is stronger than the other. What was that? I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared in near Zelda. Oh yeah, I also have to get the Poke Flute. Hold on, I kind of want to confirm that real quick. I know it's Pokemon Yellow Dex. This one. Oh, no, 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 no. So, I wanted to look at the base stat total. See? Look at this. Windows... Windows... How do you zoom it? Windows Plus. I press Windows Plus. There. Look, Moltres, Zavdos, and Articuno. That's to this is a total base stat. So Moltres would have 495, Zapdos 490, and Articuno always getting the short end of the stick, 485. But it won our pulse though. So yeah, I find that fascinating. Oh, I'm in Celadon City. Great, great, great. Let me just go to the Pokemon Center real quick so I can teleport there. Strongest Gen 1 Pokemon, highest base total Mewtwo, tie between Dragonite and Mew, Moltres. That's correct. Oh, and I've I've, I've said this before, but I th I'm saying it again. I think Mewtwo needs to get a new ability so it could keep up with the uh, competitive scene. Right now, the psychic types that are dominating the competitive scene are the Calyrexes. I think Mewtwo needs an upgrade. Neural Force is a good ability. 
But maybe something unique because it's the OG legendary. I'm thinking an ability that allows psychic type moves to hit dark types for super effective damage. That's gonna be broken. They just need to give something Mew, uh, to Mewtwo to give its competitive just to heighten its uh, competitive presence because it's Mewtwo where do I get that Eevee? there's a free Eevee here I think it's here What should I name the EV? Nathan. I make sure to name a Pokemon after the viewers who are here. I'll name the next Pokemon Arores. What? Okay. The box. You're welcome. As you can see, the team is full of uh, folks who have been with us and is still with us. Now I need to go to the department store to buy drinks for the guards and get the TMs that I so need. This is it. Is that right? Oh no, actually. This is it. <clears throat> I just remembered that Lavender Town has a name Raider and we will... Oh yes! Yes! I almost forgot. We shall be back in Lavender Town. Soda Pop. Then I'll buy an extra lemonade for the guards. In the other games it used to be tea, but here it's you, you just buy stuff from the vending machine. Yes. Yeah, hey, we have ice beam. Yes, queen, you can have everything. What is team rock slide? Yes, for Idon. Lemonade. Try attack. Okay. We have things to do. First, I want to give Ice Bean to Lapras. Really, really wasteful. If only Lapras didn't learn Ice Beam at such a late level. But we really need an Ice type move, especially if we're gonna go against Erica. We can forget about Growl. Rock slide for Rhydon. We can forget about Horn Attack.
All right. First, let's go back to Lavender Town to rename Muffin. And then we're gonna do the... What's this? The Game Corner quest. Oh, and the slot machine! Here, have some lemonade. <clears throat> Actually, let's go get Psychic first. <laughs> Mew needs- uh, Muffin needs that Psychic t TM. Or actually, are we able to get it? I don't think we're able to get it until we've defeated- I think we need to complete the Sylph quest first. Hold on, I think this is it. Yes we are, yes we are. You also learn psychic, but it's such a high level. Finally. Mega Punch is our only attacking move that is reliable. I wouldn't want to get rid of that. If it runs out, we're gonna have to stick with Cut. That's fine, we're, we're about to get Fly. I don't know. Do I want to get rid of teleport? We can get fly. I'll get rid of mega punch and then use fly and get rid of teleport. Weird that I remember all of these. Okay. Let's go back to Celadon real quick. I think it's at the north uh, end of things. That I could get fly. Or do I need to get rid of the Snorlax first? Hold on. Let me just go there. West. Western, rather. Not north. Yes, this is it. <clears throat> Goodbye, teleport. I think we've used teleport not once. <laughs> I don't think we've ever used teleport. But it would have been nice to have. Sad.
Oh yes, I'm gonna catch a Doduo, and then I can name it Aurores. I think Doduo is in here. This patch of grass. We already caught a Fero earlier. I'm just gonna kill this one. Please see they run like the wind. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, actually, I want to try out Rock Slide. Alright, we have found our victim. Mm -hmm. How do I set this move first there? And then tail whip. Rock slide. Coolness. Not finding a doduo. I know they are here. I'm positive. I found one here in my previous playthrough. There you are. We shall be our rest. Welcome, welcome. Dodo gets really strong. It does. It really does. If I didn't have Dragonite, I would pick Dodrio or Firo in my team. Probably Dodrio. They have Drill Peck. I'm just happy to be in a PC. Yes. <laughs> oh, you have lots. You have lots of uh, people with you, quote unquote people in the PC. Even the partner Pikachu is in the PC. <laughs> That's the original muffin. Yes, that is the Daddy Muffin. Okay, off to rename Muffin Jr. <laughs> yeah, 
We have a lot of business in Celadon City, so let's get this over with. I believe it, it's um, volunteer. No, that's where Mr. Fuji is. I think it's this one. Nah. This one. There you go. Reborn. Rebirthed. Just like the day Mewtwo gave birth. You shall now be known as Muffin Jr. Okay, back to Saladon. I know we can't fly yet, so we'll have to bicycle our way back. But that's fine. Why Muffin, lol? Because Muffin was the very first person who joined the stream, and it was commemorated. And we got everything in the game done. Yes. Okay. I also have to try that slot machine. I don't think I've ever tried it, but I believe I'll need a coin case for it first. It's in some kind of a cafe, if I'm not mistaken. Have we saved? Let's save first. I think it's here. We can find it here. Oh yeah, Porygon is the expensive one. I'm not getting it. <laughs> I could just hack it in. Where do I get the coin case again? Where do I get the coin case? I know it's somewhere here. Here. Okay, let's spend our 20 coins, ga coins gambling. How do you play this thing? Bet how many- oh, I bet. Let's try- I'm feeling lucky, let's try three. Oh, it's like a slot machine cake. Okay. Arbok, Arbok. Oh, look, it's a Team Rocket, <laughs> Team Rocket Pokemon. I hope I get another Arbok. Oops, not this time. Let's just, uh... Exhaust all our coins. Meows, meows, meows. Our ball. Sure. I can see how this could get <laughs> out of hand. <laughs> it's addicting. Seven. Alright, we're not getting this one. Oh, 
Oh, I see. I think if you bet three coins, you, uh, you'll have three lines covered. Got it. We just need one cherry. Alright. <laughs> Alright, this is fun. One last. Oh, we can actually get two if we get the Arbok and the Weezing. Coughing. Jesus. <clears throat> Dang it. All right, my last spin. <laughs> that was fun. Bye. We won once, and it's recorded on stream, so that's enough for me. Okay. Actually, why did I get out? I was about to do the game corner quest. Rock slide is fun to use if it doesn't miss. What's your favorite Gen 1 attack animation? Mine is Flamethrower. Oh, that's a good one. Um, what would I say? I think... <laughs> What's the first one that comes to mind? I think it's either Surf or Blizzard. <laughs> It's a shame that Psychic are immune to ghosts in Gen 1 because of a coding error. Thank god they fixed it, but man did they do ghost types at a disservice.
Oops. Thunderbolt. I'm gonna do Blue Schemer and then Ashen Field. So everybody could be at level 26. I think for Rhydon, the only thing I'm waiting for is uh, Earthquake, which will be in Sylph. Oh, actually, no. Earthquake will be the final TM given to you by Giovanni. Let's try Ice Beam. Oh, Ice Beam has a good animation. Body Slam. This makes me dizzy. Ooh, I could sell this. Another moonstone. What is TM7? Drill. I think 
Corndrill is good for a fast Pokemon. Dragonite? Let's try... Let's get rid of Thunder Wave. I forgot if I got that other Pokeball, I'll just check. These rocket folks are so complicated. <laughs> they could just walk, but they choose to spin around. I think I need a, some sort of key. Yeah. I remember getting stuck on these puzzles when I was a kid. Oh yeah, and if you've ever done the rocket bases on the Sevai Islands, oh my god, that is a puzzle. Even as a teenager, I had a hard time navigating it. I actually had to Google it, I think. Like how to go my way around that. Hyper Potion. I 
Remember someone told me the puzzle in the Silco building on my on my was back at school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oof, Blaine just got swept by a Vaporeon. <laughs> nice! Oh, so you're done with Blaine! You only have Giovanni left. I remember in school we also used to play Pokemon in our spare time. But uh, when we would do PE, we'd have free time to ourselves and we would play games. Most of the kids did physical stuff like tag, running, but we would play video games in secret. That was fun. Oh, yes, there is something I must try. Muffin Jr.'s new move. There you are. Beautiful. What I hate about Psychic is it just has 10 PP. And such is the consequence. Some only has 5. I want to save Psychic for... Poison types. We had breaks during school and me and our friends would get together and retreat and play and trade Pokemon. Yes. Play, yes, but trade, we didn't have much experience with trading because we couldn't afford that cable thing that you needed to trade. We had a link cable and we shared between us. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> I wish we did. That would have been fun. That would have been a complete experience. I still, uh, I think, um, we have this thing called PokeCon. Like the local, the local um, organizers do it. I think they still do that. They even do 3DS stuff. That, that's fun. I haven't been one myself, but once I can afford it, I am definitely going to one. TM10. What is TM10? Double Edge? Ooh. Who could learn Double Edge? All of them could learn Double Edge. Raidon has a lot of HP. Maybe instead of Stomp, I could do Double Edge.
Is Tom worth deleting for <laughs> double edge? I'm not sure actually. Yeah, let's try it. We want we want to utilize that high attack stat. <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> I usually don't use um, these high-risk, high-reward moves. But ever since I had uh, Flare Blitz on my Incineroar and Wave Crash on my Palafin, I, I appreciated it more. So that's fine. I, I just have to know when to use it. Rare candy. Where do I go again? Oh, here. thingy when my microphone fell off again that's why i'm hearing wind hold on where is it okay there it's back we have 20 minutes left in the stream and i think that's still enough time to kick giovanni's ass and get the self scope I want to use fly. We need to use fly again. I just got the power plant. Oh, you do. Hey, you're doing the Zapdos quest right now. Oh yeah, that's right. You could use Surf. <clears throat> I know that in Let's Go... Uh, I know that in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you could catch the legendary birds unlimited number of times. That, is that right? You, it, they're rare spawns, but they have a chance of spawning every time you're in the sky. Have no more awakenings. I just have to suck this up. I made it to Zapdos. The power pan. Power plant gives me anxiety as well. <laughs> I never know when the Pokemon are going to spawn. And it's a, such a tight uh, space. Like the path.
I, I think it's actually time to shuffle again. I'll just knock off this uh, coughing. And maybe in the next battle. There's the lift key. Um, I need to put Luke up front. What is TM2? Razor Wind. Oh, this is a two-turn move. Nah, I don't want Razor Wind. Is Razor Wind a flying type move? Let me just confirm. Razor Wind. Pokemon Yellow. I think it's a normal type move. But if it's flying... It's a normal type move. Ah, never mind. I don't want Razor Wind. So sad. So sad that Dragonite just gets stabs. So I need to go to that elevator again and insert the lift key. Oh, who are Jesse and James, of course. How dare you humiliate us, Mount Moon? It's payback time, you brat. Horn <clears throat> drill. Awesomeness. A 
I could use it five times. So if I'm sure that if I'm faster than the opponent, it's worth a shot. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. <laughs> I love them. Iron! Which one of my Pokémon needs defense boosts? 62... 51... 46. Oops! I didn't mean to dig! Oh my god! Shit. Fuck. Ugh. Butterfingers. That's fine. I have the lift key. I could just go back there. Anyway, let me just finish that before I dig again. <laughs> So Gengar was the lowest one so far. Oh, horn drill work. Yeah, I did. 72. Sixty-seven. And then fifty-three. Okay, uh the iron would go to Gengar because he needs it more the most. Oops. Damn, I keep, I keep misclicking. Well, since I'm here, I'm gonna box the... Uh, I'm gonna heal my Pokémon, of course. And I'm gonna box the items that I don't need for now. Deposit. And deposit the max potion. The max ether. No, I don't want to deposit the bicycle. I'm going to deposit. Um, Three. I'm gonna deposit the HM to the coin case. Maybe I should sell the nugget. Or I should deposit the nugget for future. If I need money, that's gonna come in handy. The rare candy is definitely going in there as well. Yes, I just caught Zapdos. Did you have a hard time? Very good. Okay, let's just put the spicy go on top. I hope you got an awesome stat one. Yeah! Okay. There you go. Oh, 
All right, let's go back to the game corner where we accidentally dug out of. Okay, we're right here. Just need to go to the fourth floor and then we should be able to face Giovanni. There he is. Onyx. Starting strong. Rhyhorn. Oh wow, these are all ground types. Persian. Persian is definitely faster than us. So Horn Drill would fail. I'll use Slear then Body Slam. Oops, why? Oh, is it because of the guard spec? Thank you for the experience. Luke is now at level 27. I believe we are still too we still need to train for Erica. She's still too strong for us. So we are gonna do the Pokemon Tower quest next. Hold on. Now I can dig. <laughs> now is a good time to dig. Thank you. 
We'll just catch a ghastly and then we can wrap up this stream. Let's catch a ghastly. Wow, it's been four hours. We started at SSN. We've defeated Lieutenant Surge. We went through a rock tunnel. We completed the quests. A lot of quests, side quests. Oh, I can't catch because it's full. All right, maybe we're not catching Ghastly. Crocs like. I want, I'm gonna cut. All right. I will make it my mission to catch Ghastly and name him Zeitgeist before this stream ends. So I shall go back to the Pokemon Center and change boxes. Dang it. <laughs> At least this happened in a ghastly. <laughs> it would be so <laughs> devastating if my box got full in a and I was encountering a legendary Pokemon. Oh, I need to select Bill's PC. I need to change boxes. Yeah. Box 3. Alright Zeitgeist, welcome! So we're going to wrap it up right now. And then next Thursday, we're going to have uh, part four of our Pokemon Yellow live stream. Hopefully we could 
at least defeat a gym <laughs> by then. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. You have a ha you have a great week ahead, and take care of yourself. Bye.